Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon. So when we last left off, we kind of faffed about the castle, picked up some, you know, health and magic and heart bonuses and things like that, did some exploring, and pretty much generally avoided going into this next area because I hate this next area. Because this next area is a pain in the butt to do. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I got so quiet there. And yeah, probably because I just... I'm not looking forward to what's coming up. Mostly because the next area is a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with. As I said, because mostly it starts throwing out tougher enemies than what we've been facing so far. Which makes sense. I mean, it is the next forward progression of the game. So, yeah, why wouldn't it be throwing out tougher enemies? And also, point starts pulling out enemies that are actually harder to fight. I mean... For example, those hippogriffs. Those, I mean, admittedly flying enemy just in general kind of a pain in this game, or in this game. Largely because they can pretty much move to places that you can't, including going through walls. Which is kind of a cheap thing on their arm. I'm kind of curious on something here. Okay, yeah, it does actually. Actually, I think it, that was more than what I would have been anticipating. I mean, after all, that's supposed to increase our. But then again, it's supposed to increase our strength by that percent. By the percent of the map we've uncovered, in this case, 61%. But yeah, I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos the way it calculates damage. You actually like square your attack power somewhere in the proceedings of that. I I don't remember the exact formula off the top of my head right now. But yeah. So, attack is kind of the stat that you get the most bang for your buck, as it were, with regards to increasing it. But, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, with fighting that griffin, for example, or hippogriff, sorry. I end up going from about 64 damage per attack to 140, which is an over double increase. But, as I said, we've got a 61% increase to our strength, not to our actual damage output. A 61% increase to strength turns into a much higher percentage increase to our actual damage output. go. Nah, whatever. Point is, time for box solving puzzles. The first thing that I kind of don't like about this area, not that it's particularly bad, these are, they're actually not too bad of block solving puzzles, it's just that there are one or two of them that are kind of tedious to pull off and are arguably not worth the rewards. I don't know. It's one of those, there's a lot of room to discuss on that one, but... Oh 
Okay, there we go. And this is actually, this room here is actually one of the more annoying ones. There we go. Okay. go okay of course you know the difficulty of enemies is kind of scaled to how much effort you're willing to put into learning to fight them properly I suppose I do not want to stop what maybe I do yeah I think I'll stick with the cross okay and there we go now that we have gotten to where we can get the box we now have to push it all the way down to the bottom of this room Whoopity-doo. Nope. And, yeah. All of this for just a bonus to our part container amount. Yay. Thankfully we seem to be doing better than my previous attempts at getting through this area. Because as I said, the enemies in this area are tougher than what we've been facing so far. And I think, no not the next room, the room after that, I think is the one where we'll start seeing some of the really tough things. Because in this area they introduce a brand new form of armor in addition to the lightning armor which, I'm, well I've been doing pretty good against some of these last couple of rooms, but honestly the lightning armor is probably the most obnoxious armor type enemy. I mean the other ones you can tend to find a good way to deal with it, usually by ducking or, you know, moving intelligently about the arena. Okay, you need to destroy that. One, two, there we go. Okay, one, two, there we go. Alright, nothing else up here, okay. So we can now push this box here. Push that there. And finally push this on top of where that other one just went. There we go. Create a level ground so we can slide. Ow. Two shots. And then, okay, with a quick land to here, you get another heart max increase, putting us up to oh, 230 now. We're doing pretty good here. There we go. Oh, don't forget, push that. Not all the way. Oh, hey! Potion! Yeah, yeah. Okay. You only fi you already fired your first shot. Okay. Actually, you know what? Though interestingly enough, with these, for some reason, the way the game does it, sub-weapons don't gain the effects of any stat boosts that you use through magic. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. So literally the strength boost from the, what was that, Venus Thunderbird? Yeah, Venus Thunderbird. 
only affects your whip. Ah, crud, I forgot to put... Actually, you know what? Oh, <laughs> that's right, I can't... Technically, you're supposed to push that other box, so that way... You can actually jump up there properly. But, if you forgot to, they're still away. Slightly less so with regards to that, to the upper box there, but eh. And then, drop all the way back down to the bottom. Having gotten an MP increase. And now time to face off with the succubus. Hey, oh. Get back here. Aha! And now time to exploit the greatest... Oh! A lot of times they don't turn around for some reason. <laughs> there we go. Thankfully, those guys definitely don't turn around. Now, uh, for some reason, like, times previously trying to fight those stupid grizzly bears, they, a lot of times they'll jump over them and they won't turn around for at least a little while, if at all. I'll usually manage to kill them first. I'm also usually attacking them from the front as well, so that probably is helping the proceedings. There we go. You know what, actually... Look at those damage numbers. Okay. There we go. Ha ha! There we go. Okay. Turn that off. There we go. Okay. Ah, not this room. Okay. We want to turn our fire barrier back on. Actually, I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this. Because what we really want is up here. And we're actually going to want this bad boy combo up. There we go. For another heart max increase, because, you know, those are so awesome to have. Alright, but now that we've gotten that secret out of the, out of the way... Let's go ahead and attack you. And... I forget what it is in this room. Oh, actually, yeah, I know what it is in this room. Because there are so many interactive objects in this room, because... Okay, we've got to deal with this. Uh, let's see, which, if I remember correctly, what we need to do is push here, break that, then break that, break that, break that, buy some headache medication. forward is opened. And is it the next room? No, it's the next is going to just be a little miniature transitional room. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Ow. And that's why you don't want to mess with them. Did you see how much damage that did there? Actually. There we go. 
Okay. Woohoo! HP max increase. Very well placed HP max increase while I'm at it. Or if I can say so right there. And I believe... Yeah. Yep, that one I'm going to need to get the super high jumpy ability thing. You weren't there before, I think. Okay, I don't remember. Were they there before? I don't remember if they were there before, but they're dead now, and that's the important part. The thing that scared me is dead. Wait, why am I turning that off? This one I don't need to worry about having turned off. Ow. Okay, we are running really low on hearts. Not that helped much. There we go. go okay Okay, where are we now? We are... Okay... Hopefully... There isn't too much things in here trying to kill us. Okay, well there's some flaming skulls. But you guys are easy to deal with. Okay, so we are going to need to build a platform up to there, I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay, and now the game is slowing down a little bit. That's wonderful. Okay. And then let's see. Obviously, the answer is to push it this way. <laughs> I always wonder what would happen when you do that. And by pushing this, and keeping pushing it, pushing, 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 pushing. We'll eventually reach... <laughs> you 
here, where we need to push just a little bit more. There we go. And then, of course, if you want to leave, you go through that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to bother fighting you. Ain't worth my time. Oh, you're easy to fight. And you're what we're looking for. All right. Huh. I suppose there are more things we should actually not. We're going to end the video. Not. We're going to end the video in this room. We're not going to end the video here, per se. Because we're going to grab a, one more thing before we finish up. Actually, no. What was the one that doubles heart pickups? I believe it was you. Oh, hey. Oh no, okay, that's the experience gain for walking one. Was it this one? Yep, there we go, okay. <laughs> there we go. with that. <laughs> you know what? Wrong way. <laughs> that was amusing. Die quicker. There we go. Okay. Oh, hey. What's up, buddy? There we go. You die as well. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Not now. We'll do that later. Okay. But yeah, that's going to be something we'll be probably seeing next video. As the quick way out of this area. Another level up, even. That's cool. I like getting level ups. Okay. 
Okay. And there we go. Okay. So, this has been another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Tune in next time where we take on another boss and find another way to get through this castle. Until then, as always, later folks. Button.